everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna talk about triangulation, uh, which is the second part of this entire video content. So in the first video, I was talking about how to do camera calibration, how to prepare the the videos with checkerboard, and how to use the stereo camera calibration application inside the MATLAB. And uh, if I remember correctly, we ended up with importing the camera parameters I just loaded uh, right here in the workspace. So if you haven't watched the first half of video uh, or video contents, I'm sorry, uh, please uh, go watch it. And uh, yeah, today's focus is uh, triangulation, which is a calculation or calculation technique to calculate the 3D position from the multiple 2D position. Maybe I have to explain how I get this data. So actually there is another video I uploaded already like a couple months ago. Uh, you can see like how to use open pose, how to set up, uh, how to extract the joint portion data from the open pose etc uh, etc et and uh, I highly recommend you to watch the, the video and I will put the link in the description or put it on the video screen somewhere okay but uh, I assume you watch that and uh, what you can get from the open post is a, the data in JSON format so first uh, you have to decode the JSON file and extract the data from it. So I have a script for it and uh, basically I just need to run it in the specify the path I saved the JSON files. This is front view and this is for the side view. Okay. And now I imported the the data, I actually didn't import the data, but the, the name of the files. And I'm going to use the name of the files and the path to import the, the data one by one by using the uh, file read function. And uh, store the temporal data here. And uh, I'm going to decode the, the JSON data here. And uh, extract the data into the variable called data one right here. So when you import the data and decode the data, you will get the structure basically. And uh, you can access to the data in the structure by using a uh, dot function right here. So basically just to use the dot function to direct where you have a data. Okay, so for this case, uh, the, this is a root here and use the dot function and uh, there is a structure file named like people and post key points 2D and this is a place you can get the, the pose estimation data in 2D. And simply you can you know, if there is no problem, you can just simply uh, go to this uh, structure here and extract the data. But uh, there is a case, there are some cases like you have to have like if statement or prevent uh, some errors. Uh, for example, if open post detect more than, more than two people, then we have to think about which person is the right person to you know capture the motion or the truck. Uh, so I use a convex flow because usually when we capture the motions, the interest person is always in the middle and uh, in the biggest. So convex flow is basically the the area uh, of the dots outside. So if there is a dot inside, like it doesn't count, but 
let's say there are the joint positions and it can only count the dots outside which means maybe like shoulder, elbows and the pinkies uh, but it doesn't count the point like inside the like like spines for example and the uh, convex fluid just connects the dot outside and uh, calculate the area inside the connected dot outside right then uh, it's just quick and dirty uh, technique to detect like which one is the right person to track uh, but it works quite nicely for this project so I just use it so that's the case if open post detect more than two people right if no one is detected I'm just gonna assign like zero to uh, all the columns I mean all the roads sorry so reason why I have 75 here is because uh, open post can output 25 joint points so 25 for uh, X axis and 25 for Y axis and 25 for confidence level. I will show you the actual data here for the confidence level, but the confidence is basically like how much confident the open post detect the point. And uh, you know, anything else is the data we want. So the case, uh, there are more than two people detected in the case no one is detected and uh, anything else just one person is detected it, which is just perfect so I'm just gonna dump the data into a variable called post1 right here and do the same thing for the post2 which is from the side view okay just nice and you know it's just simple uh, you know simple code and now I get the data in pose 1 and the pose 2 and as you can see 25 rows I already explained 25 for X 25 for Y and 25 for uh, confidence right and 8 and 8 for columns uh, which is the same as 25 uh, 804 cells so this one has the number of the JSON files and uh, one JSON file corresponds to one frame so number of the frames or number of columns the same uh, which means we I mean I extracted all the, all the frames then uh, data model modeling so like I said, I'm just going to separate the data into X, Y and the confidence. And actually before that, I can show you how the data looks like. So the, as I said, the first one is X, second one is Y, and third one is confidence. So open post detected this point one, number one, was nearly 88% of confidence level and the second point is here x and y and then nearly 95% of confidence of open post detected this point so each column right here is one frame one frame one frame so first frame second frame third frame fourth frame and blah 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 in total 804 frame okay and I'm just gonna make it separate so that I can plot or like I can check it by using plot so now it's separated into x y sorry x y x y x1 is the front view and the x2 the side view right now I can check it so like this so Looks like this is the front view and left leg, right leg, and the two arms and the face right here. So it works. I'm just gonna stop it. Then it's 
it's not difficult to imagine like you just need to concatenate the data and turn it into csv file and that's what i did right here so if i open it so you can see the point one and point two i'm sorry point one x and y and uh, this is the confidence level and another point and the confidence level and uh, i actually yeah i think i just transpose the data so now column is the the points and the rows are frames but uh concept is the same so x y confidence x y confidence Blah, blah, blah. And this is the front view data, and there is a side view data right here. So I'm just gonna clear everything and come back to the original code right here. So now you know how I get this data right here. So I'm just gonna read the data, save it into the variable called front and side respectively and uh, extract or separate the data into x and y uh, nice and simple in here and uh, i cannot forget inputting the camera parameters and uh, time synchronization so i use the same technique as i explained in the first video so basically just finding the point where i turn on the right so in this case, uh, in the front view, uh, 205th frame, I turned on the right, and for the side, uh, 349th. So just compensate for uh, this amount of the number and uh, use it for synchronizing the time. As you can see, uh, the number of columns are different because uh, each side or each angle front and side uh, there are different number of uh, frames and because uh, we turned on the video asynchronously right but after compensate for that now as number columns the same and just clean up the data a little bit so the data points number 16 to 19 it's just the uh, eyeball points right here i think on nose and the uh, ears uh, which i don't really need so i'm just gonna make it empty so now point is uh, 21 in total and another uh, data cleanup is filling the zero values so whenever open post detect the point with low confidence so you saw it the confidence was usually high like 80 90 percent maybe sometimes 70 percent but if it's below the threshold i forgot uh what the slot i mean like which threshold like open pose is using but like if it's below threshold or open pose cannot detect like certain point uh it puts zero instead so I'm just gonna detect the zero inside the data in each like x1, x2, y1, y2 and turn it into none. Uh, then I use the function called fill missing. So this functions just do uh, interpolation uh, whenever this function detects none. And you can set the command like linear or quadratic or cubic or blah blah blah. I forgot how many frags you can put or like argument you can put. But like I just simply use the linear interpolation right here. So whenever this function detects none, or which is actually the zero inside the data, uh, it can interpret linearly uh by using the data uh front or back yeah just connecting the if there's a none and there's a data data between then it's just like linearly interpolate so that's 
uh, you know what I did right here uh, nothing fancy so now uh, let's try angulation part uh, which is so exciting so basically this is the only line like you try, try angulate basically so like I said there is a built-in function called try angulate and the uh, input argument is so simple the first one is just xy position from the one camera camera view and the second input argument it just like the xy position from the another camera view then you just put camera parameters which you get I mean like which I get from the uh, stereo camera calibration app so that's basically it and it can output the points like x and x y and z but uh, you have to turn the, the data with 90 degrees uh, around the x-axis you know just when you plot the data just it looks nicer I mean without rotation uh, people are just like rain down on the ground like this so if you want to like make it stand like this like you have to rotate the data 90 degrees around the x-axis so just run this and now I can check the data by plotting so nothing fancy I just you know use different cars for uh, different purposes uh, connect the dot with the line and uh, create animations uh, fix the view in the axis and uh, yeah that's it so just run it and now you see the exact same video you saw it on the presentation slide in the first half of half of this video contents I mean the first video and uh, yeah that's basically it I hope you enjoyed it and now you know how to reconstruct the 3d data from multiple 2d sources and if you like it uh, please subscribe my channels I really really appreciate it and uh, I will upload uh, more videos and uh, I'm pretty sure you can enjoy it see you next time